Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. My name is TBR Schmidt. This is my wife, Samantha. Hello. And today we are watching Lethal Weapon 2. What'd you think of the first Lethal Weapon? The first film was really good. I was expecting it more to be like a buddy cop comedy type. Yeah, I was definitely anticipating a little bit more humor. Mm -hmm. It was way darker, especially in like the first half of the movie. Yeah. But it was a refreshing take. Because even though it is like a buddy cop movie, they are so drastically different and it had this darker tone and stuff that by the end of it, you really feel like Murtaugh and Riggs are brothers. Yes, absolutely. The stakes are higher, so it makes for like a bigger payoff. Yeah. I'm so glad that we have like a whole series to watch them kind of grow as partners. Yeah, I think four and potentially a fifth being made now. Yeah. So I'm super excited. Yeah, me too. So if you'd like to see the full length reaction for this, as well as everything else that we've reacted to, the link to our Patreon is in the description. If you'd like to interact with us on our Twitch, Instagram, or Twitter, all those links are in the description as well. And with that, let's get into the movie. You're heading straight towards each other. Somebody back off. Okay, Roger. Heading straight towards each other. You chase down the blue. 20 on 15, this is 20 on 12, that's confirmed. Breaking Bad. Right? It's Dean Norris. 20 bucks on Riggs and Murtaugh. Who's driving? Murtaugh and his wife's station wagon. I'll take it. Wait, I didn't know. Me. <laughs> He's like, wait, I didn't, I didn't know. <laughs> Why don't those do it? What the hell is that? I think it was Jim. Germans. Oh, Damn, his car. wife. She's gonna be pissed. Oh, you're out. Oh my oh. God, you're dead. Oh, oh come on. No. Should have had Riggs drive. What's your plan? I don't know. He always chases cars on foot. He really caught up. See your driver's license and proof of insurance. <laughs> Oh, that's a big gun. Quick, get in here, now! Only if you let me drive. The car is already a mess. Yeah. You're not gonna make it! Move on. I mean, he's making it. Oh, oh. You were right, you know? Yeah, there, there wasn't enough room. What a mess. Oh my god, a helicopter? Are they picking them up? I think or so. Oh no. Yeah, they've got the high ground now. Oh, that's good. How much damage was just caused? Way too much. Three, two, three! <laughs> he wasn't even out of the car yet. God damn it, you were supposed to come on three. I thought you meant one, two, three, then go! No! <laughs> Tantrum. He couldn't have gone far. Right? He crawled into the trunk. Cold. Kruger ends. Oh, okay. This one's a little bigger than we thought. Oh, shit. <laughs> Why is he in a straight jacket? <clears throat> you just dislocate his arm? I dislocated my shoulder one time and I can just do it whenever. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, therapist. <laughs> eight o'clock. At eight o'clock tonight on cha channel eight. We'll be making our television debut in a commercial. Ooh, I hope this is an appropriate commercial. <laughs> <laughs> Jeez. Oh, I'm sorry, that's very uncool. You're sorry. Check my shorts. <laughs> it shit himself. Take the stairs. <laughs> Feet off the table. She didn't take the stairs. <laughs> she in a bikini? Yeah. Hey, it does he look gorgeous? <laughs> and the time has come. And the moment. Oh my god, is it for condoms? Remember. Use Ramsey's extra condoms. We, we do. do. Because caring means all the protection. You're grounded. Oh. Forever. <laughs> the contractor guy in the back. My God, he should retire. He cannot show his face <laughs> in the office. Hey, what's with you, Rod? She was great. She looked beautiful. She made me want to go out and buy rubbers right now. Oh my God, dude. 
Wait and see. Cops never let up. You know, rubbers on my desk, rubbers in the mail. Probably. If you had only kept your mouth shut. Oh. I'll give the boys some credit. You know, in one ear, out the rubber. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Hey. Who are bad guys? Now the important thing, Hans, is no bones broken. Is the plastic for paint or for him? Yeah, nothing's being painted. <laughs> Sometimes these things do not go as planned. You're in trouble, Marta. Thanks, I uh, keep on losing this. Does he just live here now? Or he's just doing his laundry? <laughs> <laughs> With the three stooges again? Uh-oh, is Murtaugh under attack? Looks like a sketchy camera shot. Hopefully it's someone just sneaking home late. Oh, oh my god! God, that was aggressive. I was not ready for that. <laughs> no, I wasn't either! <laughs> I assumed they were still downstairs. Yeah, this has just been a warning, right? After this, it gets bloody. Maybe we let you live, huh? Come on, let's go! This is their warning? Quite a warning. Yeah, that was terrifying. Captain, it's the shit assignment. Shut up, the both of you. Why us? After last night, you could use the break. Yeah, seriously. You know what that says? Yeah, yeah. Same thing as that, but I don't give a fuck. You're lucky. <clears throat> I have to live with that. This one's definitely a lot funnier right from the start. We already have, like, the established characters. Yeah. That was easy. Don't oh. you want to see a badge? Don't do that again. Yeah, we get Joe Pesci. I mean, I'm the smallest guy here. I'll take the small room. <laughs> okay? It's also only one of you. <laughs> Morning, gentlemen. Morning. No, I don't trust this. Hey, I didn't order a hamburger. I ordered egg. <laughs> Ooh! <laughs> Jeez. This is so slow. <laughs> oh, thank God there's a pool. That's still really high. <laughs> Man, Leo gets had to save his own life. The right person? <laughs> He's just beating the shit out of Leo. Come on, we're near the edge of the pool. Now get the fuck off my back, okay? <laughs> you punched him in the face like 10 times. All I did was I laundered a half a billion dollars in drug money, okay? Half a billion? And you guys are supposed to take care of me. Shut up! <laughs> a best opportunity and he gets away. So it's all connected. Yeah, you have money that you have to have laundered. What do you do? I bring it to you. They're back in his house? The hotel wasn't safe. Right. Don't you have plates? Is that cold spaghetti? <laughs> you give it back to me as collateral on a loan that I make to you. But you don't pay back the loan. That's it. Don't you get it? No, I lost it. You take a tax deduction. Damn. Am I an innovator? Am I a genius? So the money's clean, plus you get to write it off? Yeah. Who is he giving up? Because <laughs> he did some really bad shit. Like, what kind of deal did he make? Yeah. Hey, come on, it's not gonna do any harm to Luke. Mm -mm. Okay, 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 okay. I know the address. Come on, let's go, Ryan. How did he broker a deal if he doesn't know, even know these people's names? Oh, like to testify? Yeah. No idea. Can I come? Oh, Stay. Sit tight. Nice car. Why are you so interested in the car? I'm a peeping Tom Roger goes with a badge. It's fun sometimes, too. Yeah. He's really close. Damn. What the fuck? Great for him. Oh, pool guy, huh? No, I'm sure there's gonna be a pool here. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit! Man, they waste no time. No! Give me your keys. Just give me your Hey, hey, where are you going? How was that waiter from the hotel? Oh, shit, it was? Hmm. Okay, okay. Hey, hey, what are you doing? I saw you stay in the car. Cool guy's like, what is happening? <laughs> Where's my shit? Oh, asshole! Oh, he should have just shot him. Great. <laughs> I was like, why didn't they stop? There you go. Oh. I thought it was like a break or something. I was closing it. Uh oh. oh. Oh my god. Jeez, you are in trouble, Riggs. <laughs> uh oh. Oh my god. 
god. No! Did he die by surfboard? <laughs> what an accident. That was so chaotic. Told you to look out. It's just duct tape. Man, that guy got annihilated by a surfboard. And what the fuck are you guys doing here? I mean, we got a lot to talk about. Yeah. Why are they there? Free ticket! I'm not armed. Man, just out in the open like this? I'm yeah. Minister of Diplomatic Affairs for the South African consulate. South African? Would you like to see our diplomatic credentials? Come on! Hey, hey. Diplomats? Man, do they have diplomatic immunity? You Martin Riggs? Yeah, the Chicago Riggs is. What's your name? Oh, fuck, I'll just call you Adolf. <laughs> they are official. Just threw it on the floor. You could not even give me a parking ticket. Ooh. Who is the ticket now, hey? I'll give you a bullet. I start getting used to that sort of view. <laughs> Okay. Okay. Man, an untouchable enemy. Yeah, I feel like there has to be some sort of laws here. This guy is dirty. He's a crook. Doesn't he's matter if he's dirty. He's beyond the law. We can't touch him. Does that spell it out for you? Yes, sir. <laughs> I usually wait in the car. Usually. That's right. Hey, they're very adamant about that. <laughs> very adamant. Why is everybody's ass parked in my desk? Up, up, up. Oh, they didn't forget. <laughs> Looks to be about a week's supply, though. Hey, go spit. A week? <laughs> I don't know if he was laughing for real or not. Just on the edge, yeah. about to lose it. I think he snapped. Good night, Mr. Rod. I thought that was his daughter. We have to move the cash in one large shipment. Warning did not work. I don't even think he realized they were connected. No. Come on, Leo. Is this movie sponsored by Subway? Is this not the first Subway? They had a commercial on the TV when he was eating his tuna sandwich. Oh, really? Also for Subway. Wow, this whole footlong for only $5. I don't give a fuck. I'm not eating this tuna, okay? Shut up! <laughs> Man, Leo gets fucked. I've also never seen a drive through Subway. I know. I wouldn't trust that either, though. Ooh, sorry about that. We're watching you. <laughs> oh! Diplomat. How did he be in there? I don't know. Probably just ran on foot. Get rid of that man. Yes, sir. Both got a little bit of immunity. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Straight to the camera. that? I don't know. I thought it was him before he pulled up. Hey, Sam, I want you to bite Leo for me. Oh, is that Leo? Oh, no. Leo's in the house. Murtaugh? Mm -hmm. Cleaned his whole place. It looks great. When's the last time you did the refrigerator? The pan on the refrigerator. There's a pan under there. <laughs> Where's my TV? Okay, okay. What are you done with it? It's outside. Get the dog out hey, of here. Hey, Let you go before the month. <laughs> As Murtaugh checked in with you today, I haven't heard from him. He doesn't answer his phone. So that wasn't Murtaugh standing out there. Cars here. I'm up here. Leo, what are you doing? What happened? His legs fall asleep or something? Glanced over. Saw this. Okay. Is that all, man? You scared the shit out of me. <laughs> Is that all? How long you been here? Been here all night. All night? My legs are so goddamn numb. <laughs> Dirty job, but somebody's got to do it. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Just don't even say anything. Oh, it is not fake. It'll be okay if you don't stand up. <sighs> well, that's a relief. I'm gonna have to get some help, man. Hey, hey, hey no way! Man. So I gotta tell the bomb squad. Let's try to keep this quiet, okay? Everyone's coming. <laughs> oh. Oh, oh no. no! The fire department. Evacuating the whole street. 
<laughs> Poor Murtaugh. I know you're a psychiatrist, but look. It's not a pretty sight. Brought the psychiatrist? There is nothing in this room that I cannot handle. <gasps> I was wrong. <laughs> Riggs. <laughs> You're the psychiatrist, right? Well, listen, I'm having these dreams. There are so many people here. Yeah, you'd think it'd be like minimum. This is a good old fashioned cast iron tub. It'll withstand a hell of a blast. I can't do it. I'm gonna have to stick around here and help him. Just gonna pull him in? Yeah, just grab him off the toilet. Spraying this thing with liquid nitrogen. I should give you a good second or two before detonation. Man, this is the best they can do? I just detonate it? Hopefully he didn't, like, start taking a dump. Long at last. <laughs> Why didn't he plant the bomb in Trisha's stove? <laughs> <laughs> Think of all the needless suffering. <laughs> <laughs> Guys like you don't die on toilets. Okay. I'm glad he's there. Well, we go on three. A three, on three. One, two, and nine. So three. Yeah. <laughs> okay, good, good. Uh, I hear you. Uh, yeah. I'm gonna fucking die here. Uh, oh, fuck. Oh, the station wagon. Oh, okay, okay. I gotta go. No, no, no. Get right. That toilet was nasty. <laughs> oh, just get off me, man. I don't want anybody to see us like that. <laughs> And pull your pants up. A friend of mine wants to emigrate to South Africa. I don't think you really want to go to South Africa. Why not? Because you're black. You are. <laughs> he is. Thank you, Leo. Free South Africa, you dumb son of a bitch. You dumb son of a bitch. Nice. Yeah, get the people riled up. More people coming in and out of here at the Grand Central Station. Ooh. Oh! Don't bother to call the police, I'm here already. It's the master race. <laughs> Show Officer Riggs into the street. <coughs> oh! Sometimes I just go nuts like now. <laughs> I laugh. Get the fuck out of my country, because if you stick around here, I'm gonna fuck your ass. It's a pretty good deal. Eeny, meeny. Hey, sorry, Adolf. <laughs> I thought there was eels in there. Big smile. Big smile. What are you doing here? Oh, I've just been upstairs with your boss, you know, shooting the breeze. <laughs> yeah, fine. She's like, what? <laughs> I don't understand. What's that? Alba Varden Thursday. Hey, there's a deli pullover. Let's eat. I'm yeah, starving. Okay. Come on, I'll spring. You spring? Oh, shit. Yeah. Let's get up. <laughs> if you're paying. What cars are coming? God damn it. Opportunity to get out on the other side. <laughs> All the prices. You don't like your boss very much, do you? There are a lot of things I don't like about my boss and my country. It's Rika. Rika von Hagen does. Nice cream. <laughs> come on, have dinner with me. I got a nice place. It's down on the beach. Say yes. Everyone else says no. no. Come on. <laughs> Come on, I, I let go of the basket. Let me all scream. No, please don't. I'll scream. Lady, let go of my bag, will you? Hey, look at this. Somebody call a cop, yeah? Okay. <laughs> Jeez. Wasn't taking no there. No. Oh, what a party trick. Fucked his mouth up a little. At least his trailer's clean. What's the matter? You got a dirty glass or something? No. Wedding ring? I used to be married. But not anymore. No, not anymore. That's hiding behind his diplomatic credentials. What the hell's this? Have your brains ever seen the light of day? I'm a cop, you son of a bitch. No, you were a cop once. <laughs> Oh, fuck. I'm, I'm just gonna take a couple of laps before we go down to the station. Are they targeting all the police officers? What? Oh my god. That was elaborate. What did they set up here? What the heck? So cool. Thank you, Colin. Show. Oh, and it's poker night, right? Yeah, fuck. Holy shit! Damn, that's brutal. They lost like six cops. Give me Riggs. Don't turn your TV on, Riggs. So you, I missed my poker game tonight, and I was feeling real lucky. Thank God you missed it. No, you can't deduct your boat. Oh, my boat, man. Ooh, ooh. Come here, look at this commercial. Look at the body on this kitty. Oh. 
I'm gonna make believe I didn't hear you say that. Yeah. Say what? She's a yeah, let's go shut up. <laughs> she makes me want to buy rubbers. But she's effective at her commercial. Huh? I'd only be a minute. Something rigged at his house, or were they anticipating him being at the poker game? Oh, maybe. Hopefully there's nothing rigged. They already rigged something here once. <gasps> My birthday. What is he even looking for? Different? Oh, fuck. Didn't you lock the doors? I guess it was missing a door. Oh, the name. It's a ship, not a woman. Oh! Thought I told you to stay in the ship. Fuck. Come on, Murtaugh. Oh, get the nail gun. Good catch. Oh, yes! Oh, oh, fuck. Damn, right in the forehead. <laughs> you still have the nail gun. <laughs> Leo is gone. Leo. And rigs. They're gonna have to hear that, right? Maybe Sam will alert them. What are you doing, Sam? Get, get up, get dressed, get dressed. Come on. Do you even have time to get dressed? Trust me, there's something wrong. I got a bad feeling. Where are they gonna go? Can they go out through Sam's exit? She made it to the truck, at least. Oh, fuck. Hey, look. <laughs> oh, oh, the no. other helicopter. Uh, you right? Oh, you shit. Who cares about her? Where's Sam? Yeah, where is Sam? Oh, okay, oh. I hear barking at least. Don't leave Sam behind. Yeah, you better friggin' stop the car. There you go. You're an excellent shot. Oh! Come on, shake it. Come on, boy. Come on, boy. Come on, boy. You make it, Sam. They got any holes in them? <laughs> no. Oh, you clever dog. Save your guys' lives. You can stay with me. Tonight? Yes, tonight, tomorrow night, and the night after that. It's moving pretty fast. Yeah, too fast. Bye. 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 <laughs> Bye. Bang. Blows up. Or shouldn't. Nice. Match the slide to the music. God damn it, really? <laughs> Yes, MVP Sam. <laughs> I feel like they know the girl now too. Yeah. Look, you know so much about me. Who the hell are you? Drove your car right off the fucking road, remember? Oh. I pulled back this matted mop. He killed his wife? See this woman's face? Your wife, right? Oh my God. What? I didn't die straight away. It took a bit of time. Oh no. They have him in a straight jacket? Oh, he can get out of that. That is insane. He killed yeah. his wife? Oh, oh my no. God, already? Yeah, fuck these guys up. Oh. oh. They deserve that. Damn. The boat. Oh, he went back for her. Man, lost her and found out that his wife was murdered. And it was supposed to be him. Where are you? She's dead, Roger. She's dead. I'm not a cop tonight, Roger. It's personal. There's much more. I'm gonna get those bastards, Roger. Yeah, he doesn't even know about the other cops. Oh. I forgot about Leo. Yeah, me too. They declared war on the police. You know about that. Heard it on the radio. 
Okay. You got a plan. You wait for my signal and just go in and shoot those fuckers. It's quite a plan. Be careful. Now you can't quite go in guns blazing. What's your signal? You'll know it when it happens. <laughs> I mean, technically, their job is to keep Leo safe, so they do have some authority right now. Can they somehow ram the truck into all these stilts? Just collapse this whole house? You'll know it. Pull me away from the windows and leave. Oh, he's ripping them down. <laughs> Duck, Leo. Leo. <laughs> Get out, Leo. Get out before the whole house comes down. Oh. <laughs> God. <laughs> Damn. Rich, you crazy mother. <laughs> oh, that was a lot of confidence that uh, Murtaugh was going to get in and get out that fast. Murtaugh knows how he is. <laughs> it's been experience knowing you, Leo. Oh. I don't, I don't want to. I'll hug. give the little fella a hug. Be lucky if you see him again. <laughs> I really had a lot of fun. Is it okay if I sound the siren? Yeah, it's an emergency. Must be around here someplace. I mean, it was a big boat. Hey, Albert Bart, the ship, what did I tell you? Three heavy hitters? Let's have a look in there. Let's run them over. Holy shit. A lot of cash. Money? Billions. Fucking Donald Trump lotto. <laughs> These are thousand dollar bills. Put all three of my kids to college. Why don't you take it? Yeah, take it. Fucking drug money. So oh. do something good with it. Red's not gonna need it. Know where he's going. Oh no! Damn. The next time the sun hits their bodies, they'll be in Cape Town. So they know they're in there. Got an idea to shoot our way out. No, don't do that. I got a better idea. Drive your way out. Yeah. They gotta be running out of South Africans eventually. Um, you're not. Oh. <laughs> I hope they weren't in that. Oh, all the money. That's a lot of money in the water. Just make sure they're dead. They gotta still be up there. There you go. You go first, I'm really too old. No, you go first, I'll cover you. <laughs> oh, on the way down? Oh no. Oh, that guy's super dead. Holy shit, that guy got fucked. <laughs> this is very personal. Action roll. Oh, what? Oh, no. That worked. Damn, he still has a knife in his leg? Oh, it's like all the way through his leg. Oh, right in the nuts. Can you like knee him? Gut him. Oh, this is better. Gonna squash him? <laughs> Just flatten him. Oof. Where's the old man? Yeah, Adolf. Drop an asshole! Oh no. Diplomatic community. Oh, oh shut up. Oh no. Damn. It's just been revoked. <laughs> they gave Murtaugh all the great one-liners. It's 
Is Riggs okay? I don't know. He got shot a couple times, I think. You're not dead until I tell you. You got that. Throw those things away. Those things will kill you. You son of a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you would die. I'm dying in the toilet. I'm not going to die in your arms. <laughs> Hey, they've been decaffeinated. Oh, yeah. <laughs> decaffeinated? <laughs> Don't make me laugh. You really are a beautiful man. <laughs> so delusional. <laughs> Give us a kiss before they come. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. All right. That was Lethal Weapon 2. What'd you think? I loved it. That was a great sequel. Yeah, I'm like... I don't know which one I liked better. I think I had more fun with this one. Yeah. Maybe the first one you can argue is a better movie, mm -hmm. but it's extremely close, which that's a great thing for a sequel because typically as like movies go on, they do kind of get worse and worse and worse. Yeah. But this was super strong. Yeah, no, it was a definitely a different tone of film, so I guess it's kind of hard to compare the two, but obviously seeing Riggs and Murtaugh back together again, I think the bombs and like destruction of things uh, was definitely upped in this film. I would say so. Um, I don't know if maybe the success of the first film gave this one a much higher budget, but damn, like literally if it could blow up, it was blowing up. Yeah, I mean, the movie starts with a pretty intense car chase with mm -hmm. accidents and explosions and helicopters, and it doesn't really slow down from the start. No. A very interesting storyline, too, kind of the way that they were able to connect everything, literally from the get-go, but it didn't seem like it was connected almost um, until they kind of started putting all the pieces together. Right. I also absolutely loved the introduction of Joe Pesci. We've seen him on the channel a number of times. He's hilarious, such a great actor. His delivery is always perfect. So I loved seeing him included in the little buddy cop. He was a fantastic addition. I feel like everything we've seen Joe Pesci in he has a more prominent role yeah or even he's like more intimidating in the movies mm -hmm. whereas this he definitely played kind of like a stumbling character not like ridiculous level or anything like that but he definitely took like a step back to be included into mel gibson and danny glover but he fit right in as this like quirky character yeah no he was perfect his story probably wasn't a hundred percent necessary for the story so i like that it kind of gave that little bit of comic relief especially with mel gibson and danny glover both being kind of like straightforward blunt in a lot of their stuff you obviously also see mel gibson's side of kind of that like loose canon um and then a danny glover had all the one-liners danny glover had a, a couple of great ones that i remember for sure like the uh nailed them both I believe or at the very end like it's been revoked <laughs> <laughs> they're so dumb um uh, but you know it was so great i loved kind of to see that because in the first film i feel like murtaugh was struggling with his age um and in the force he's got a new partner so he just seems like a little bit grumpier Oh, you Overall. see him grumpier in this one? No, in, oh, the, in the first, first one. Film. Right, yeah, exactly. Yeah, so in this one, he's kind of loosened up a little. He's obviously gotten more comfortable with rigs. And he also is kind of at this point where he just, it seems like he just doesn't care anymore. There's definitely a few times where I thought he just snapped, where he would just start laughing hysterically. <laughs> but I definitely agree. It's almost like when you have like an old dog and you get like a new puppy and it kind of like brings out the puppy in the older dog. Yeah. Like the first movie for sure, Murtaugh was just way more stressed out. Mm -hmm. And this one, yeah, he's still stressed out. Like he's still a Murtaugh, but it feels like new again. Yeah. I mean, you still have like these amazing moments between Murtaugh and Riggs. Like even in the very beginning when they're driving the station wagon mm -hmm. and um, Riggs starts driving and they're like getting to that spot where he's like, there's not enough room. He's like, no, there's enough room. And it just scrapes the whole way. And he's like, you're right. There was not enough room. <laughs> Or like their whole like go on three. <laughs> I'm glad they discussed that before the toilet bomb. Oh yeah. Got it cleared up. But you carried so much from the first one. I think we said already that the first movie, even though it's a little bit darker, not as comedic, 
it really establishes this bond, this brotherhood. Mm -hmm. It feels so real that you have these moments like Riggs, you know, saving Murtaugh from a toilet bomb. Like it is funny, but then you're scared for both of them. Mm -hmm. Like you, you could see how much they care for each other. Yeah. And I mean, there was absolutely no way that Riggs was not going to be in there helping Murtaugh. Yeah, exactly. I think the established connection that they made in the first film made this one so much better. And it didn't just leave off on like this annoyed, like Murtaugh dealing with Riggs type thing. Uh, we had a little bit in the beginning of the first film and then they found that brotherhood. Right. Um, so it was cool to see that carry on. We didn't need to like go through that again or anything. And I think it helped to move the story along. Oh yeah, I mean, you were able to just go right into action and mm -hmm. fast pace and comedy but you still had those serious tones and vibes. I mean, we still went through serious conversations with Riggs, you know, discussing his wife, especially finding out that his wife was murdered by that guy. That was crazy. You expect in the sequel, the story in general is gonna be, you know, a separate story that's, you know, they're still enclosed films and that you expect the rollover of the characters. But the fact that, you do kind of have a little bit of a rollover of the storyline with Riggs's character finding out what actually happened to his wife. Because the first film, it's very much, you know, lays it on that it was an accident and he already feels this sense of like fault because mm -hmm. he wasn't there, he didn't show up to the dinner, she had to drive home alone. But then to throw on top of it that even more so make him feel like it was his fault because he was the intended target. Right. So, I mean, it, it still was able to have that dark element to it, yet it was just a lot more fun and comedic. But once it got dark, it handled it so well. I mean, like with Riggs being like, I'm not a cop tonight. Mm -hmm. And he's on the conversation with Murtaugh. Without hesitation, Murtaugh takes the badge off. He's like, you're not a cop tonight. I'm not a cop tonight. Like there's just that brotherhood, like you said, we're not going through these stages of like struggle between the two yeah, or no, something. Like roller coaster relationship. Like if they need each other, they're there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we have that bond now. It's established and it's so fun and wholesome, all of it to watch. Um, so I can definitely see how that could be the foundation of all these movies. Oh yeah. I mean, this movie for sure, just with how fast paced it was, mm -hmm. I feel like I was always on edge too. Yes. I mean, there were so many stressful situations. And there was multiple jump scares, <laughs> yeah. um, which is, <laughs> was unexpected. That first one, what was it? Oh, uh, when they got uh, like duct taped, like they got like, like ambushed I, in like Murtaugh at home. Literally my soul left my body. I was waiting for a jump scare or something. Maybe once he started to go downstairs or something. I don't know, I was expecting like, a uh, gunshot sound or something. I wasn't expecting like someone to jump out um, and especially right when he stood up and then his wife in the bed <laughs> scared the shit <laughs> out of me. I mean, there was so many stressful situations like the one where they're getting tied up or when Riggs and whatever, Rita haagen or whatever. Rika. Or Rika, Rika ha haagen <laughs> Uh, like when they're getting shot at and like Sam's like running around outside, obviously with Murtaugh on the toilet or when all the other cops are getting targeted, mm -hmm. even with like Leo getting taken. I mean, there was so much going on that Leo got abducted and you like forget about it because there was just so much chaos. And once you see him again, he's getting like the shit kicked out of him. You're like, oh my God, yeah, Leo, like it was just nonstop. Nonstop, the whole film. And I like that it did a good job like making little establishments throughout, um, like seeing the bedding scene in the police station where Mel Gibson is strapped into the uh, straight jacket. Oh, right. And then obviously that comes back later when he's able to get out and survive in the water. So just little things like that. I just feel like it's such clever writing. And I also have to say that I was really excited that we got to see more of Murtaugh's family again. Yeah. They had a heavier presence, I think, in the first film, obviously with his daughter being kidnapped right. um, and everything. But I loved that we still got to see them, especially in the beginning, kind of like establish that family and the fact that Riggs is like kind of become a part of it. Yeah, exactly. Like doing the laundry there, cooking there, um, you know, having one-on-one -on -one conversations with 
Murtaugh's wife, mm -hmm. like you really feel that family and that brotherhood aspect. Mm -hmm. uh, but they for sure had a bigger impact in the first one, but they were still here long enough that you got those sweet moments. Yeah, and you got the moment when Murtaugh realized that his reputation was over at the police station. It was a great commercial, but man, that was... <laughs> effective. <laughs> Yeah, very effective. I mean, uh, Leo loved it. It was so funny. It was so action packed. It was still like edge of your seat. And that's really hard to achieve for a sequel mm -hmm. for sure. So this was a ton of fun. And I really liked the villains of this. Yeah, very interesting. You know, you have the South Africans, but then they're also diplomats. So then they have like some form of immunity, which causes kind of red tape when going through this. Obviously that also brought up a lot of like racial yes. stirs throughout. You know, the conversation with Leo and Murtaugh in the consulate, and then just <laughs> all of the nicknames <laughs> that Riggs <laughs> was giving those men. I don't want to even say like racial undertones because it was not an undertone. No, overtones or whatever. <laughs> like it was very, very much present in the story. Yeah. Uh, but they handled it very well, mm -hmm. and, it, and it really added to the seriousness to the whole situation. Mm -hmm. uh, but I mean, yeah, that was a hilarious scene when that consulate guy was like, oh, but you're black. And then Leo's like, it's true, you are. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so I mean, the villains being kind of immune definitely added this extra layer to the complexity, I guess. Mm -hmm. But yeah, just thinking about how many just crazy action. I mean, there were so many car chases too. I mean, someone was decapitated by a surfboard. In I this forgot movie. about that. Right? I forgot that even happened in this. So, I mean, this movie was was wild and action packed, but I had a great time. No, me too. I think my favorite part uh, in terms of like destruction was definitely the whole house coming down. Yes. Um, Just like the stilts, just it's so much glass. It was like all windows. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I mean, for sure the budget had to be dramatically improved from the first one. Yeah, but I had so much fun watching this. Um, I hope the rest of the sequels are just as fun. Let us know if we should keep going, if we should check out the, I think, third and fourth. Third and, and fourth. Then sounds like maybe there's another coming. Potentially another one, yeah. Even if the movies, like, slightly go downhill from here, I mean, we're on such a high hill that if it, if it goes down a little bit, it's still gonna be a great movie. Yeah, I mean, we've had a really good time with series. We watched all the Rocky films, the Rambo films, uh, the Die Hard films. So I think uh, so far we've had really good luck with series. Yeah, so I'm excited for, for the next one. Me too. So if you'd like to see the full length reaction for this, as well as everything else that we've reacted to, the link to our Patreon is in the description. If you'd like to interact with us on any other types of social media, all those links are in the description as well. And with that, Peace, everyone. Bye. Bye.